You said what? Like, when you what? was writing your raps. Nothing. Yeah, like, <laughs> what Nothing. the fuck? Niggas, it wasn't even no fucking, I Nothing. didn't have no instrumentals, nigga. I no used music. to write raps to windshield wipers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like nigga, you That's ain't even had no no beats. This shit, That's what like, I'm saying. Like my, the, you the had to is, just write. You had to write. Right. So what the fuck makes the nigga think I couldn't rap a cappella? This shit don't make no fucking sense. That, that's how I developed my flow was a cappella, nigga. Right. Niggas ain't have beats at first. And when I did rap over a beat, I used to have to cut on the radio and rap over over the they rap song. over they rap. The yes. Over they hope we a freestyle over a whole song while they rapping in the background. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's, but that's but that's why, why we be locked in though. That's you probably know? why we be locked in. Yo, you bro, right. did y'all have J Arms and all that shit out there? J Arms, what is that? What would that be called in St. Louis? Remember the nigga? It was a nigga that started making instrumental. He was putting all the instrumental. 30, 40, and 30. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, yeah, at the flea markets. Yep, we sure That's did. Right. Uh, and then when them beat tapes start coming out, you was buying them from niggas. Like, soon Hell as the yeah. instrumental was motivational. You'll be in the car riding and rapping. Like, ooh, I can't wait to say this later. I used mm-hmm. to buy a motherfucker single just so I could have the instrumental on that bitch. I already Man, got on. the album, nigga. Come on. And, and and now these little dork nerd rappers, uh-huh. they can just type it in and here it comes. But just, but just when we talk about that, right? Imagine the passion... That you have as a young nigga that's like you so excited about rap, you buying a, a, a fucking single just so you could be able to rap over something mm. versus a nigga that's just like, all right, yeah, well, shit, if I get booked, I'm gonna get, you know, you ain't even, you don't, you don't love rapping for real. Mm-mm. Like, how you gonna beat the guy that loves this shit? You never will. Not the ones that got skill. No, yeah. you know. It don't matter how good of a, a battle rap you is. If we come from the arts, it's gonna be tough. You ain't put play. as many reps up, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. You, you know what I? Th- you know what I think changed along the way too. Like when I was watching that television and shit, and I would see Big or Rock Kim or whoever, I, you know, Nas, whoever it was. I never felt like I never felt like I could do what they do. Like when I was, you know, being introduced to them. I was inspired. I was like, damn, what the fuck is this? But I never felt like, you know, it's a certain type of respect. Like on yeah. some sensei yeah. shit. Like it's oh, that shit ain't level. around here. Yeah, it's yeah. a certain level of fear. Like I know if I punch this nigga, it's not going to hurt the way his punch is going to hurt me. Right? Mm-hmm. And then what happens is later down the line, I feel like a lot of the younger generation, they see shit and they don't look at it with that respect they look at it like if he could do what i could do it. yeah that's the era we in banks yeah right is, if he is, could do what i could do it we come is that from a gift and a cur- is that a gift and a curse though for who definitely a curse. um I, I would say for both ends because i'm sure like a lot of the veteran guys or the guys that have been here for 20 plus years is like damn these niggas ain't got no respect but on the flip side it's also like man they they confident like is that it is it can't just be negative right you can have respect and be confident. Right. So I'm saying to what he said, though, like when they look at a guy instead of. No, 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 no. I think I think you misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm saying it's I'm saying they're confident based off of based off of the, the, the product that's being presented to them. They're not saying it like I didn't. I said I could do it because Nas did it because we both from <laughs> you feel me. We from right. similar backgrounds. I'm saying they're looking at that shit talent wise and saying if he could do it, I could do it because he's oh, not got much. Gotcha. Yo, yo, Banks, right? Around that same time where y'all start, you know what I mean, taking over and all that, that was when I really started like battling for real, right? Like 2002, 2001, all that, right? right? I remember somebody said this specific thing to me. This started to be a thing that niggas would say. When the internet and all this shit came out, you run down because we used to run down on niggas with the CDs in the book bag. If it's twenty niggas on this block, that's where we going. We going over here. Yo, what's up, niggas? Rap. We got bars. Niggas would say shit like this. Nah, yo, my man rap. We would be like, what? So, so what that means? So tell them to come back. Like they would use that as an excuse to really say, like, well, nah, we can't support your shit because I got my own shit. Once niggas started thinking like that. That shit really, that to me is what planted the seed that really fucked up where we at now. Once niggas said, well, I got a camera, I got an internet connection, I can do it too. Yeah. It'll never be the same. Yo, three, you still there? 
I'm here, cousin. What, up? what What was the first beat that you could remember hearing? Not just hearing, but the first beat that made you say, what the fuck was that? One DMC suck MCs. Okay. Mine, mine was two. It was uh, J. Ru the damage to come clean. <clears throat> Mm, mm, mm. Right. Three more, three more. So imagine hearing that shit getting off the dollar van on the Coliseum. Word. Word. What the fuck is those sounds? Right? Word. It was that and fucking uh unbelievable. Biggie. Mm, okay. Now if you sit and, and think about the unique sounds in each of those beats, it was like I used to bug my homie every fucking day because he had the he had the uh the single, you know, back then, A side, mm, B side, A-side, A-side, A-side. Right, from Hot Wax on mm. the Avenue and shit. And you know, I'm so green to this shit, I don't even know where to get this shit from. And I used to bug him every day, yo. I need that fucking tape. I need that tape. So what I'm saying is, we so far along from that time, you don't even hear music outside no more. Thanks. I remember when fucking Life After Death came out. My son, God bless the dead. He was we had he still had the boom box and he's walking around playing 10 crack commandments a hundred fucking times straight. Word. You'll never see that again. That was the box era, nigga. We had the Panasonic box, nigga, with the tape player. And you walked around Maxwell tapes, now. Maxwell tapes, Jones, and TD, TDK tapes. Yeah. And and Maxwell tapes. You had to, you had, TDK, you had to put the little, you had to put the little <laughs> tissue, 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 yeah, you had to take it. Yeah, you had to take it. I love our era, my niggas. I love our era, man. Yo, <laughs> yo, three, this shit be written, man. You, right. you know you know what came out the year I was born? Oh, what year you was born? Tell me the year I say what came out. What year you, came, what year you was born? 1980, 1982. So we're talking Fat Boys? We're talking Odini? Are we talking UTFO? Are we talking? What was the biggest album in 1982? Oh, it gotta be. Oh, God, that's the Flash, I would think, right? Not my bucket. Thriller. <laughs> thriller, Thriller, okay, Thriller, okay, Michael Jackson. All right. You know what else came out in 1982? Mm. The CD. The CD was created. The in CD was released in 1982. Oh, wow. wow. You know what else came off to the 90s? That's crazy. You, you know what else came out in 1982? Mm. Right. The, the Air Force One. <laughs> mm. Wow. See how I come around though? <laughs> wow. Hey, you, had had the hey, 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 you had the rapper starter kit. You had the rapper starter kit. Yeah. That's what it was. <laughs> Air Force was a CD, a tape. That's what I'm saying. My first performance, first thing I seen perform was two pops. Wow. What was that like? What was that like? The first person you seen was Pop, you said? Mm. What, what, was it, what was it like? What was it like? 